so we all know that Google has got a lot of apps and we can we have seen in the last uh, webinar regarding the how you can build a Google site and I'm very sorry previous webinar I could not start my Google Forms so today we are here to discuss regarding the Google form and its usability in teaching learning process we all know that the interactions of this session will be seen in today's meet.com oblique fun with Google please all of you whatever the links I post generally I post in this channel please be attentive and uh, if you just go through that that would be very nice that the interaction will be more with that things and the next one uh, generally Google forms mostly they use uh, for data gathering like polls and surveys and predominantly they use it for online assessment so this is the one which makes us very easy uh, if you create a Google form based on the uh, a content like you can create a multiple choice question you can create a, a short answer you can create a true or false or anything as yes, uh, no any kind of questions uh, by using Google Forms basically these Google Forms allow us to automatically take quiz by the student and with the some of the add add-on scripts we can make these uh, quizzes or whatever we are conducting online assessment auto gradable also and they automatically they send to the email of the students so that is how we today we uh, we will focus main only some of the things of features of the Google forms and we will also look into the advanced features how you can uh, uh, include logic in the global form like if and then and there are some other strategies in adding scripts and all these things how you can make use better and here we use uh, some of these uh, add-ons like form limiter form notifier doctopus gubricks and flubru and gmats so we may not complete all these add-ons today uh, it takes much uh, time uh, we will we will go through some of the important which are very much useful for the teachers who can generally conduct such kind of online assessment things and everybody we know that the to access the Google Drive everybody must have the Gmail account uh, it's not a G email account you need a Gmail account you, you may not have a Gmail but you should have a Google account so the Google account is allowed to add all such kind of drives to your things and if you have a Google account that it enough you need not have a, a Google Gmail so I'll start uh, how a simple form can be generated and how it can be uh, used for the assessment and how it can be graded by some kind of ad scripts so I think most of you may are familiar with this or may not be familiar but please bear with us those who are already aware of all these things but I am just going to give you also some of the tips and important which you might have not encountered such things uh, earlier before so here um, first of all we'll go So here we we'll go to Google here in the new you click on new and go to more you will get a Google form so open a Google form and now what you are going to do is uh, just name the quiz like we'll put a sample Google form like any quiz you wanted to so always what you need to do is you just create first the name of the student 
so it is not a multiple question generally what you would do this question must be a short answer question that's why you just the text and it is a required question everybody has to uh, fill the name okay then you go to next one email of the student so this is also simple quiz and it is also and you can make it optional so it is optional uh, people may give or may not give that's why i'm not putting any required question here if it is it must and shouldly given by if you require must and should generally you have to uh, check this required question otherwise if it is optional generally you can uncheck depending upon the student if he will wish to give he will give this is done and here we will use some of the add-ons generally add-ons will be there on the forms so by using these add-ons uh, we can add some of the scripts like if you want to express a certainly a mathematical expression in your so you want to give a, a mathematical expression so definitely you would like to a add on script where normally it works to create some kind of mathematical expressions for that generally we use a gmath gmath is a kind of uh, mathematical expression generally you will get gmath uh, by just going because i already installed this one that's why you, you are able to see the gmap in add on if you don't have you just click on get add ons the moment you click normally it opens an another window which allows you to uh, look into the different types of various uh, features see here there is an add on see if i just click on uh, one it has already says you manage means uh, it says it is already installed if nothing is installed you can uh, just click on it and something like so here form ranger i did not install so that's why it giving free you just click on that particular free and it going to install so it is already installed that way it is showing manage so that is how normally you can install add ons to your form so the gmap is already installed so i am just going to gmap with this gmap what you are now going to create means uh, gmap is a kind of mathematical expressions you can create mathematical expressions you create graphs you can create a statistical display and all these things in a form so if you want to just you know generate a kind of uh, mathematical expression uh, you just click on create mathematical expression the moment you create as expression so it is going to be show a kind of thing that is creating mathematical expression so a default it is showing 3 by uh, x minus 2 and if you want to create any such kind of things just delete this and all the things is that whatever the expression you are put, um, creating through gmath it normally displays on form in the form of a image it is nothing but a image so you just wanted to delete the existing one now you want to give an expression that a new expression i wanted to give an expression so these are the different types of expressions that you can see in this with these different commands you can use what kind of expression you want in the mathematics i just wanted to give an expression a by b so that i just wanted to give a in the sense a kind of uh, whatever you wanted to type you can type over it that is uh, i just wanted to type 4 plus you remove the a 4 plus and now here i wanted to give a, a a multiplication expression for that i need to just drag on the down and i just wanted to give a into b like wherever there is a, a into b the side this is the a into b so in this uh, a i wanted to give 2 and i just wanted to give in the place of b as a 6 and in the b i just wanted to give a, a kind of uh, x minus y in the sense 3 minus 1 so so that is whatever you are able to see this is the preview of the expression you have typed in this box so that's why you are able to see here the b3 is b has to be removed so it is 4 plus 2 into 6 by 3 minus 1 is the uh, this is the expression you should want to get so the moment if you type and you will get an image here so according to that if it is fine then you keep insert so it takes the the image is already inserted 
So this is one way normally you can use the uh, combination of mathematical expressions by using GMath. So that would be helpful for you in making different mathematical expressions. Sim <laughs> similar way you can use even graphs also which normally uh, helps in some kind of mathematical expressions also that we are not going to do that. Yes, I'm giving one kind of example which normally uh, occurs a simple mathematical expression. So now what I should do, you should, because this is an image and for that you need to develop a question here because uh, in forms the images are separate and the, the questions you wanted to make are separate. So just I wanted to do that, I wanted to answer for this, yes, I just, I have typed something here, simplify the mathematics action below, copy it and you paste it here. So simplify the mathematic expression below. So for that, this is, this is to be a multiple choice question. This is, you need to convert this into a multiple choice. And you just copy this and you paste it here. So it has given all the multiple options. So directly you can make all your text uh, in a word or any Excel sheet and that you can directly copy to here also this allows such kind of things. So here there are four options are there. So it is a required question. Now it is done. So now I have given simplify this mathematic expression below but the but the mathematical expression is now it is above just uh, what you can do is uh, you drag this and keep below. So this is one way normally uh, you are creating a mathematical expression in the quizzes. Similarly, if you want to add an image, uh, you just uh, go to this add item image and you wanted to just uh, get your images which are already there. Uh, choose an image to upload from your computer. Click on it. I just wanted to choose an image from a pictures folder and there is another picture folder is there. Which I wanted to upload. So here. So I am uploading this picture. It's uploading. So it's already uploaded. So I just wanted to resize this and I just wanted to keep it at the center and now I don't want to give any image title so done and for this I just wanted to make a question it should be a multiple I think so I, I'm kicking a multiple choice question and here um, I just wanted to give where is this picture is taken so now you, I'm just paste it where in the world this picture was taken and you just this is Delhi Agra London Paris so that is how normally you can create. It's also a required question. And now we have generated a two sample ones and one more you can generate. Uh, it depends upon your wish, but we have generated two questions. Now, I just ask you to take this quiz and uh, to make it public, I just uh, click on it and uh, so this is the quiz form which is normally looks to you looks like this is how it looks like and you can also accept it so i'm just copying this and pasting in the chat please go through this quiz and attend the quiz please all of you all it all participants go through this quiz and attend this quiz please all of you and i'm also attending my name is like on key my name is on key and uh, it is uh, Rabu Bloom at the rate of gmail.com. 
and I just say this is the expression like uh, 8 and this I say this is the Paris I just submit it I hope you people are also submitting I just I want these things because uh, see here the, uh, the moment I have submitted uh, it has shown one response I'm just asking you please submit the quiz so that we can go for rating it please so please all of you submit the quiz I'm just keeping this link even in the this also so this is the link which normally opens you a kind of uh, form so here I am able to see only one particular response please all of you I just want two more responses I'm just filling this once again I'm just click I'm just taking one more test one email and one more thing about churi email at the rate of gmail.com I'm answering this one is the answer and this is another answer and I'm submitting yeah so here I've seen there are three people have submitted the response and if I just wanted to see uh, their response I can click view the responses so in that case normally I just get whatever whoever the means Harminder has got this Radha has uh, sent a form and I have answered these two so there are I uh, means four people have submitted the responses so still we are able to see this and if you wanted to stop the responses you just click on accepting responses the moment you click this form has been turned off and nobody can else uh, it is not open and nobody can do this so that's why if you don't just wanted to don't want to accept the responses from the students you just click on it if you want to enable accepting the response click once again on not accepting that time. now this form is open to accept the response. please uh, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm a bit uh, fast but people I need some of the uh, some of you to attend this particular thing Ravi you can attend and Kavita you can attend Rangraj you can attend this form because you have not attended this form and the form link is posted in the fun with Google the two days meet please go through that this is the one which normally is the link which I have also posted once again I'm just posting even the chat box also so you just go through it I have received one more response now it is become five we'll see who is the uh, other one and here the sir Rangaraj has submitted this so and also Satya Sri Ramya is also submitted see we can see the people who are submitting so here a tab comes in form responses so here this is the thing now you have given a assignment to the child and child has attended to that now we'll see how we automatically grade this particular thing and like we use grading generally for the purpose of uh, automatic grading uh, because uh, generally earlier um, what we used to do is we used to give a mathematical expression like using formulas in the math in, in Excel we used to find out if this is this then you give one mark like that so but later there are some kinds of add-ons are available to the Google forms which makes us to automatically grade the uh, assessment so such assessment tool we see that is in general we call it the flu borough so this is the flu borough is a add-on tool if you just uh, it comes uh, so what you need to do is first of all you have to install get get add-ons and then you have to install the flu borough and after that normally you will form will be having this one so I have to enable this flu borough to this sheet first of all so this uh, to this I wanted to rate it grade it that's why I just wanted to enable the flu bra here and it is working and continue so then you need to accept so once you do this and you will see uh, the flu bra is enabled here 
and once it is enabled and now you can access from the menu okay so now what you need to do is the flu bureau you have to act once again go to the flu bureau and here there are some kinds of uh, sub menus like grade assessment now you have taken or uh, your students taken an assessment if you want to grade it just go to the add-ons flu bureau and grade assessment now it is working on it yeah the first step in the grading is generally this allow us to give something means first one is the name identify the student identify the email of the student and we have two questions clear we have two questions so nothing is there we continue means one point in the sense we are awarding one mark for each question so that is the thing so you are able to see here there is, these are the people who are attended but what you need to give is to this ad script uh, flu baro you need to give a, a answer key based on that particular answer key it generally uh, runs its script and it compares the students answer and it just gives the grade so i'll just giving mine this is as a answer key so it looks whatever the answer is there in that particular form and then it runs its script and it compares with the rest of the things so once it over you just click continue now the moment it runs the script you have seen in the form there is another tab has generated which is called as a grade clear view grade so now you can see uh, a kind of uh, means grade tab and which is giving and mr rachuri test one has got 50% radha 0% harmit got 100% ramya and this this is a kind of grade which normally see now all these grades which are generated automatically by the flu baro script that you can notify to your students whoever has given uh the kind of what we can say that email addresses so that is a, a good option if you just keep all the students email id if you ask mandatorily to fill the email id that would be beneficial that you can send these grades to the students email so now i just wanted to send all these grades go to add ons flu bureau so now email the grades so it is working and it is sending emails to all those who are already and see this is the thing normally include answer key also Uh, score and answer key and if meet if you want to give any kind of no uh, means message to the students uh, meet me regarding grades in office hours so this is the message we will go continue so it the script runs and it sends all the grades to the those who have all see it has sent five grades successfully email because five five students are having let me check whether uh, see here i have received a grade so how it looks so this is the thing that normally the average and all these things how they are looking and it has also already emailed the answers and the participant and everything here you can see that Flubaru has sent me this. So such things normally everybody might have means if you look into your email boxes, definitely you are going to see your grades, which are generally emailed by Flubaru. See, see this is a the thing which has see here. Uh, somebody means Rangraj's email has means the grade is that. the first one it is wrong and uh, it has given the correct answer and the second one it is uh, correct and it has been see the color symbolism also the wrong ones will be displayed in uh, red and the correct one displayed in uh, green hope all of you are just going through uh, in a right order no problem if you miss somewhere what is the main thing is we are having a recorded session also that recorded session will be sent to all the participants you can go through that this is how normally it sends uh, the different patterns means email grading to the students so now uh, i just 
run all these things automatically. Now I just don't want to run um, manually. Uh, we can go uh, advanced features of Fluboro so that if a student uh, takes the assessment, online assessment, the moment he takes the assessment, automatically it runs the script and it sends the feed, feedback as well as email, everything, email the grades to the uh, email of the students. So based on that, what we do, uh, so now we'll enable those advanced features which makes that to automatically grade. So go to the Fluboro and go to advanced. In advanced, there is like an enable auto grade. And just click on enable auto grade. It works that. And you say before enabling auto uh, grading the email, I don't, I just don't want to do with this. It is no. And now what I would do again, it gives another display message. And it has stopped. Okay, it has enabled them. Now we'll see. Uh, we'll take a quiz. Once again, I'll take a one more quiz. Like Raghu. Rashuri email. I'll just do Raghu email. And this is the um, just and this is I have submitted. So now you just look into the so here I have taken this quiz. It is automatically one and it is fifty minutes. We'll just see whether it has been received it or not so there is a, a problem it seems in the uh, running the script again we'll run add on it is already it is there uh, because it's already enabled so automatically this particular thing will will be going to uh, that particular so this is how normally you need to auto grade. You need to auto grade. So ma'am, Radha ma'am, you just attempt once again with your email ID. There is no problem. You will be getting that. So you just attempt one more time this quiz with your email ID. No problem. So here such things can be done. So if you want to disable Go to Fluboro, disable auto grading. So again, if you want to enable, go to Fluboro, go to advanced, click on enable auto grading. This is also I'm saying no. So now this is enabled. See, see now it has disabled come. It means your your auto grading is enabled. Now what you need to do is again some submit another response like Radha Raghu Blue this one and go to Paris. This is the I am submitting this. So the moment you submit, so here we have got Radha has got. So now if you just look into the grades, so come down. So these are the grades. So it has received. See, I have received sample grade forms. So automatically, this time I didn't run anything, but automatically on the background, I have auto graded is enabled due to that automatically after taking assessment, I am able to receive the emails. So that is how normally Fluberry is a versatile tool and that normally allows us to make 
uh, grading process automatically and you can send these grades to the students and all these things at a time and automation and here if you just look into the some of the other features so there is a if you want to shuffle the order of the questions which are taken by your student you can enable this so enable this allows uh, shuffling of your question order but the thing is that uh, this shuffling doesn't allow the fluberu to run the script because fluberu always checks the answer which is there in the answer key if you change the question order in the students uh, assessment what happens the question order may not match with the correct answer key so due to that whenever you want to run the fluberu please don't uh, check the shuffle question order because this does not going to grade you so you will get a wrong grade so that's why normally what you need to do is you don't check this so you just proceed with this and this is how normally we can see see there are 13 responses have been seen here clear now just i wanted to stop responses i just means i just don't want no more this run run the skips so this form should not be visible to any public and i just wanted to stop this one so in, if that is the case what you need to do is you just go to uh, there is an add on called as a form limiter so go to form limiter set you need to set some parameters like this and now it is nearly 737 time time is 730 so here limit is i am giving date and time so it should be like uh, 29th of i just take 29th now it is 1 okay i just set this 135 am so by this time normally if i save and enable it ask you you have entered a time which is already passed okay i need to enter something like 6 set so i just wanted to make it 30th and like PM, which is of 740 set it save maybe the the system file which is normally server server date and all these things is not matching but you set something like this suppose maximum numbers if you are not able to do it with the date and time you can go for maximum responses you want i just want now already it is 13 i am giving 14 it means i am already giving 13 email me if more than that save and enable so it has saved now if anybody asks if you want anybody go means go for it means i just wanted to go for one more thing I just wanted to accept it. So I just wanted to take this. Something I am writing. So here it is response have been recorded. See the next time I have taken i wanted to take one more response it is showing that this form is no longer accepting the responses so this is how normally by using this form limiter you can limit the entries of your online assessment students so that is another important means another add-on script where normally you can limit so you want to gather first 10 people who have taken your assessment so like this your student strength is 40 so you wanted to give only 40 and there is another uh, this one is where normally so this is if you just look into this this form he has been turned off so that's why i just wanted to disable it so that normally anybody can accept this 
so i am clicking on disable so that normally this can be even take more than that clear so that is how normally you can make use of the form limiter but actually this this is a this becomes a public online assessment any student can uh, uh, take this particular assessment so now you wanted to only restrict your students to take assessment but not other nobody else so that what you need to do is uh, you need to create a password based validation so that you will only share with your students and when you share the password with your students those students who are coming with that password only can assess, enter into that so that how we can uh, do that that we'll just see and we'll make we'll make a, a new form that we'll go and open a new form google form and now we'll say password based quiz so now what is my first question is i am not going to give any question first i will give uh, enter the password to start quiz so this is given so this is not a multiple choice one i just change it to as text here and now here you need to use advanced strategies like go to advanced give a data validation that i just wanted to give either a number text or regular expression anything you can select i just want select text and here uh, here you can give the text should contain whatever the things uh, the text should contain a kind of uh, whatever the text you type here that will become the password of the, to take that particular quiz i am giving only password here if he is giving a wrong password an alert should be comes to the students those who are attending the online assessment for that we can give that uh, a thing like i'm copying this like pasting this is incorrect please try again so that is how normally and this is a required question clear then now what you need to create is this is your, your first page and now after this you need to create your questions in the next page because this page should not contain your questions because if both are there means there is no use of usage of password based quiz so that's why what you need to do is go to add and click page break so it gives page 1 of 2 now we are in the second page and this is in the first page now i am giving i am asking um, who is the prime minister of india so now what you need to do is and this is the uh, this is a page title what forgot to say start your quiz now so this is the description done and this is the second page title now add the question to here i'm just multiple choice who is the prime minister of india so who is the prime minister of india and this is okay what we can say Prabhu, Ravi, Modi, Radha. So I have given four answers, and this is a required question done. So this is second question. I can add a short answer. Explain regarding. global warming so here you are able to write a test question short text question and it is also required done now the thing is we have two questions and 
the main concept of this quiz is it is a password based question if you type the correct password then only you are able to enter into the quiz so now i'll just click on the live form i'm just also pasting this uh, in this so that normally people you can attend you just try by typing a wrong password whether it goes or not uh, and try with the correct password so you just go for both the things now it is asking password based quiz enter your password i am typing something blah 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 continue so it says it is incorrect means uh, those students which are not aware of your password they cannot enter into this so this is a kind of advanced feature if you want to make it secure that it should be uh, assessed by only for your students and you can make a password base suppose if i type a correct one so password click continue so means it has accepted and it has gone to the second place so the first question is this i have given rather now heating of glow submit so we have submitted this so this is how normally you can make a password based quiz which is uh, more secure to your students i hope you might have understood and i hope you have tried see uh, the responses three people have responded myself responded and few other also have responded if i just wanted to view the responses i can see by clicking on it you can see different kinds of radha has attempted means uh, my name is also more in this is uh, password 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 and he, these are the three things normally because i have not named i have asked, didn't ask the name of the student so they have directly entered the password and after that they have answered the question that's why you are not able to see this so this is how normally you can create a higher advanced uh, usage of these things normally with the password so that is how normally we can make it and uh, this is normally we may call it as a password based quizzes or it may be a page based quizzes now i just wanted to give one more example uh, regarding this suppose we have a password and now i just wanted to um, make another new one quiz which is a, a teacher based quiz like if and then logic will be there in that so i can create a, a page uh, for for a teacher so like go to new one google form i just wanted to a teacher based quiz means all the teachers can make assessment uh, at the same time by giving uh, different subjects so here the first thing is i'll just give the name so it's a text it's required question done and after that uh, email it's text required done and thirdly what you do you will give um, like a multiple choice like take home room like a list who is your home room teacher i'll just the option raghu radha ravi sangeeta so i have given this so now i just i am asking them to opt which teacher assessment you want to take so for that what you need to do is first of all you need to create four different pages clear four different pages for the four teachers go to page break this is raghu another page break radha so after radha you just go another page ravi then after that 
you go to another page break sangeeta so done so now you have created four pages now what you need to do is you just edit this and you are asking them to go for page based quiz so now when you want to develop such kind of assessment you just check this go to a page based quiz so now what happens uh, if anybody clicks radha they have to go to radha so i am just giving radha it's ragu and i just i just give this a ragu quiz and this as radha this to ravi and this to sangeeta you just delete this clear access it has come non type till one delete this one clear okay, once again you have checked go to edit so if we click radha if it is radha and it goes to ragu if it is radha it goes to radha then it goes to like this it is like a logic like if and then that we are using in programming now what you need to create you need to create a text that is question who is your favorite teacher that is first question for ragu and it's a required question done we we'll go to radha and we'll add what is your favorite ice cream required question done and in the ravi we'll ask who is your favorite star that is actor we say it's a required question done and we'll go to sangeeta and just we'll make one more question who is your favorite actress so that is this is also required done this also see here done so we have made five different pages means four different pages and we are asking to go page wise question and teacher based question now what you need to do is so here first you go to ragu which is in the second page and just click on it now come to see click here so after attending the ragu quiz after attending the ragu quiz what you need to do to submit the form only one question is there we just submit the form after page 2 submit the form so there is a we will see uh, ragu has dragged here so it should be here so it is to submit come down radha's question click here so here submit here submit here the sangeeta is the last so for you so submit so means after attending the question we need to submit so that is the logic so now out of five pages the first page is this one 
and the second page consists of questions. Now I will see this form. Go to live this. I am live. See the first page which is displaying. And uh, so there is a problem. The multiple choice question is mixing. So here you need to keep up below this. So this is how normally it should be. Click. You should be able to see all these things. Name, Raghu, and Raghu Bloom at the rate of gmail.com. And now I just wanted to select. I just wanted to take Ravi's quiz. Click on Ravi. Continue. So I am able to see that teacher which is given by Ravi. So that's who is your favorite actor? Devanan. Submit. So the quiz is closed. Means uh, I just took only one teacher who is a home teacher to me he is Ravi and I have taken that quiz and my quiz is over. So like this the student can take a page based teacher based quizzes also. So these are the things which normally it works with the if and then logic. If you just go keep on doing with the different uh, things which are there in the Google form, you can develop a, keen, a kind of thing which normally makes you to use all such kind of things. So anybody can take this quiz. I'm just giving this link uh, in, in the chat box. With this, you can also take this quiz also. So which is entirely a, a page based quiz means teacher based quiz. We have used some logic which allowed you to direct to that particular teacher who is your uh, homeroom teacher. So it has taken to that particular individual. So like this we can make some a kind of if and then. And one more thing what I just wanted to give those who are using flu brew. Well, earlier we have used flu brew. And the flu brew has got a, some kind of logic. Uh, suppose your question is having, uh, I think that your question carries, uh, password protected we have seen. Like I will show there are some expressions which, see suppose here you can see. Uh, if a person, if a, your answer is having more than, if a question is having more than one answer, multiple answers, uh, you can use a logic like percentage or in between those answers. Means, suppose I just given name the Bombay cricketer who played for the India in international cricket. There are so many Bombay based cricketers like Sachin. We have Ravi Shastri. So some people may write Sachin and some people may Ravi Shastri. So that both are correct. So if that is the situation, your multiple choice is having multiple answers. It's not multiple. If in anything is a short answer, text based question is having multiple answers. Now in between these two, you just put percentage means Sachin space percentage O R R and space. If you give key like this, it is going to read Sachin, those who have written Sachin and those who have written other than Sachin, if Abhishasri is there, it also takes the consideration as a correct answer. So this is the a technique or a logic you need to use when you are using a flu guru because flu guru cannot uh, do unless and until you put these two for the multiple answers. Or otherwise, there is another thing, percentage 2. Means you have some mathematical expression languages. Uh, in the sense, there are some readings like the, the answer in between 3.14 to 3.18 is the correct answer. Any any in between these two is a correct answer. In such cases, if anybody writes 3.14 or 3.18, so in between these two range, Whatever the 
answer they have written in between these two it has to be considered as a correct answer so that's why in that situation we use this the 3.14 space percentage to space 3.18 means the student who get in between who writes in between these two ranges it is considered as a correct answer and this is one what normally you can use in the flu borough so there is no time to showcase these in practical but you can try it and it is definite it definitely works because we have we are we have been doing such things multiple answers and etc suppose in the language people if you wanted to use a case sensitive now people are writing noun when a short answer question is there where normally he has to fill a noun and the noun should only start with the capital letter so if you want to sensitize the capital letter so then you have to use percentage cs it normally checks the case sensitivity so the flu baru checks the case sensitivity with your answer key whether he has written a capital c or otherwise a small c when he have because because if he writes a chennai so chennai capital c should be there if it, you should give a mark those students who have written capital c and those two then we are written small c you should not give up because it is a grammar based one he should correctly put the capitalization process so in this way uh, you you can write chennai space percentage cs and it checks only capital c containing chennai by uh thinking that capital c is correct and it normally omit all those who are not having capital c so this is how normally we can make uh, better multiple asking range case sensitivity all these things with the uh, kind of a particular advanced strategy in online assessment by using fluberu so they are nothing with the google forms they are only with the add on scripts like fluberu this with this logic normally you can have a kind of valuation online assessment effectively so the, i think this is uh, what i just wanted to give in a brief nutshell that google forms are very versatile they are very good and you can make use of these things in a different kinds of mechanisms where normally you can use in different assessment online assessment and i have discussed only very few of these things and if you have any doubt please email us in raghubloom@gmail.com or otherwise to keep in touch with a, uh, with my tech for teachers page in the fb where we upload the recording session of this thing and by this normally i think uh, we are uh, end of and come to the end of this session and uh, hope so you are all doing well and you are using these kinds of tools and technique in your uh, teaching learning process hope that you have all understood a valuable uh, session and i am thank all of you for participating in this and if you have any queries you just put the queries in uh, as i mentioned that particular one that is today's meet oblique uh, fun with the google so that's what normally uh, we just wanted to see i just if i'm just giving a launching a poll that uh, it may for my feedback i'm just launching this how many of you are able to uh, follow this whether this quiz is really is open or not i just don't know but uh, i just wanted to get feedback for that how many of you are having uh, a large Uh, amplify amplification and uh, what i can say that you may be involved in many of the cases if there is a usage of these things you can use it also thanks mm, i'm just waiting for some of the questions people are answer asked and i'm just going to ask those questions um, where when we can get rangraj rangraj go to mr rangraj go to add on in the form so means 
there are two types of add-ons. Some add-ons you have to add in the script. It means add in the uh, that Excel sheet which is generated by the form. Some you can directly add to the form. So when you just click add-ons, and I'm just showing. Uh, go to add-ons. Here you can see nothing. There is like a flubaru because flu flubaru cannot be added to the form. Flubaru can be only added to uh, the Excel sheet, which is generated. That is spreadsheet. So here uh, in the spreadsheet, go to add-on. When you click add-on, it displays what all the different add-on scripts to this. So here it is already added. So if it is not added to the script, go to get add-ons. So there, see here, there is a flubaru. So you just, so it is already installed. That's why it is showing manage. If it is not installed generally, you can see this. So it is the workflow I have not installed. That's why it is showing free. By clicking here, you can install in your spreadsheet. So that is how normally you can install any kind of add-ons to your forms as well as your add-ons to your spreadsheets. So, but you need to just uh, think that some of the add-ons only can add to the form and some of the add-ons only can be added to the spreadsheets and some forms can be added either to the Google Forms as well as spreadsheets. Armit Kaur, uh, I do one more session regarding the Doctopus. Doctopus is a highly advanced script add-on and that alone requires nearly 40 minutes to take that particular class. Definitely Gubrix as well as uh, Doctopus and other, other add-ons, I'll just work it on in the next session of the Google uh, Forms. Definitely, uh, because the add-on Dr. Puss can be understood by only the teachers who are already worked with the flu barus and all the form limitations. So that's why uh, one more session will be required on that particular thing. Uh, this is basically I just taken for the teachers who are less familiar with the Google Forms and just I wanted to give a, a broad idea and spectrum regarding this. Okay. So the screen is freed because I have given a poll unless and until you attend the poll that cannot be there all please you should attend the poll otherwise so now I have unfreezed that you can see whatever the things which are I am just looking in my on my screen okay thank you uh, good evening to all of you and have a wonderful time with your members thank you very much I'm just closing this